Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal, and in this industry tip I'll give you, it's on cataract cables, and which one you ought to think about using today. You know, we've gone through a myriad of cataract cables over the years, and Cat3 wire, which is still around, came out in the late 1980s, and obviously anything we thought was smoking hot wire in the 1980s is not so smoking hot anymore. But the FCC still says that's the minimum cable you ought to use for telecommunication purposes. Cat5e has become really the new minimum out there today, but I'll tell you, all these cables kind of have a useful lifespan around 20 or 25 years, and after that, they're getting a little long in the tooth, so to speak, and we're going on to something else. And uh, we're right at that with Cat5e cable. So Cat6 is the wire choice today I'm going to tell you to install, and the price difference between the two is not that big of a deal. So Cat6 wire is the wire that most of us probably want to install, especially for gigabit Ethernet applications, which is uh, what the cable was designed for. Now, CAT6A wire, which is, uh, is the latest and greatest category wire out there you can find, is a little bit of an overkill for most of us, and it's in the three or four times the price of this CAT6 wire. So in most cases, I'm going to say CAT6 is the wire to go. And folks, I'll tell you, don't go cheap on wires. I tell folks the expensive part or the cheap part of this deal is the wires and the walls. Uh, the expensive part of it is what you hook to those wires. So again, don't go cheap on your wiring, and you'll save yourself lots of trouble somewhere down the road. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and we'll see you on the next industry tip.